Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be uh, continuing uh, these MTEL Math videos as part of the 2013-2014 MTEL Math workshop series. I want you to uh, I want to start with number five on the 53 Math MTEL. Now this is a uh, is a great problem. It's got a lot of things in it, and I have a lot of teachers that always ask me about you know base three and base ten and what's going on with the with the cards. So um, I want you to enjoy this video. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk about it at the end. Okay? All right. Let's get started. Let's take a closer look. The first thing I want to do is read the question. Number five. Use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. They give us this diagram. They give us a key. Then it says a teacher is using cards to model numbers in base three. What base 10 number is represented by the diagram? Then it gives us these answers. Your mind automatically looks at these cards, looks at the key and the cards, and then back at the key, trying to find meaning. Is there meaning in the black and white? Black, white, black, white, black. Is there a meaning somehow that the two is on the key but not represented in the card. This is, you know, totally natural because this test is very tricky. Obviously, you naturally you're going to try and make meaning and see if there's a pattern that you can decipher. Well, guess what? In this problem, there's not. This problem here merely wants you to put in the values. So we're, you're gonna you're gonna start with this number here. In fact, they could have just given you this number and said it's written in base three. What base ten number is represented? All right, but they didn't. All right. So you have this this uh, number here. Now it comes down to what the heck is base three, and what's going on with base ten, and what's easy what's easily missed. Detail that's easily missed is this, the words number and represented. Guess what? Number, represented, and if we and if we were to think about digit, or if we were to add on value, guess what? Those are all keywords for place value. And this is very much, when we think about base 10 and base 3, it's very much a place value question. So what do you know about place value? Hmm. Well, let's say we take the number 1, 2, and 3. Keep it simple. The place value of the 3 is really three ones, right? So here's our ones. And the 2, let me get a different color. This 3 is really three ones. And the 2, the digit 2 is two tens. And the digit 1 is in the hundreds column, so it's 1, 100. You're thinking about this. That's absolutely correct. Well, in really, in terms of base 10, it's really this first column is the 1s, or we say 10 to the 0. And the 10 is really 10 to the 1st. And the 100 is really 10 to the 2nd. So yes, we could express the 3 as 3 times 1 equals 3. Or we could say 3 times 10 to the 0 is 3. And the 2 would be 2 times 10 to the 1st is 20. And the th 1 would be 1 times 10 to the 2nd is 100. And now when I add up my values, let's make a little more room here, I add up my values, 3, 20, 100, I get 123. And that's our number in base 10. Now, base 3 is a little different, a little different. We're going to start with base 3, so I think the easiest thing to do for each one of the numbers above it is just, and rather than save your time here, in thinking about in terms of base 3, now change your bases. Instead of 10 to the 0, it's 3 to the 0. This would be 3 to the 1st. This would be 3 to the 2nd. So now this is really going to be 3 times I'm sorry, 3 times 3 to the 0. This is going to be 2 times 
uh, 3 to the first, and this is going to be 1 times 3 to the second. And remember, each one of these, you got to factor in. This is really 3 to the 0 is really 1. 3 to the first is 3. 3 to the second is 9. So it's really 3 times 1. Three to 2 times 3 is correct. Three, uh, 1 times 9. So I'm converting this into base base three, and you know we could we could get values. You know what what it, we could convert this base three number into a number that looks like base ten, and that's what we're going to do right now with this problem. Now let's look at this problem in front of us and let's convert it from base three to base ten. The first thing I want to do is want to put in my bases. This is one times um, not sorry. This is 1 times 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1st, 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd, 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 0 is really 1. 3 to the 1st is really 3. 3 to the 2nd is 9 because it's 3 squared. 3 to the 3rd power is what? 27. 3 to the 4th power is 81. So really, we're doing 1 times 1, which is 1. This would be uh, 0 times 3, which would get you 0. This is 1 times 3 to the second, or 1 times 9, which gets you 9. This is 0 times 27, which gets you to 0. You don't even have to do those, the ones with the zeros. This is 1 times 81, Guess you your 81. So really, when I add up these digits now, because now I want to convert it into base 10, you get 81 plus 9 plus 1 gets you 91. And there's your answer. Remember, no matter what the numbers are, it's always going to be the first number times whatever the base is. So if we're doing base 10, it's 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1st, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 3rd, and this is how you should, you know, four, five, six, seven. This is how you should think of that number. It's and always remember ten to the zero or three to the zero is always one. Okay, team, I hope you enjoyed this. Check out more videos. If you need extra help, check out the website. Um, use the links to uh, check out the website and go to um, one of the MTEL Math workshops. I'm sure you'll find it extremely helpful. Take care, team. Bye bye. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye bye.